Well, there was a cover-up, um, and uh, the, the folks who aided and abetted that cover-up is the State Department. I mean, keep in mind, Brett, she had this arrangement for the entire time she was Secretary of the State. Then she kept her emails for almost two years, and it was only because a congressional committee would not go away that the State Department bothered to ask her to return the public record. And then that's when it gets interesting, the conversations between Cheryl Mills and Patrick Kennedy, and then Platte River, and then we send a subpoena, and Platte River destroys documents after the subpoena. The State Department, which is supposed to be apolitical, uh, uh, not interested in, in the next presidential election, has been covering for Hillary Clinton since she left office. Uh, <laughs> including. In but what about the Department of Justice offering this at least partial immunity, but immunity through the FBI to five different people, one of them, Cheryl Mills, the former chief of staff of Hillary Clinton. For a lot of people who looked at this, they just don't get that. Yeah, and I would be one of them who, who, who don't get it uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, if you think that there is evidence that is relevant to an investigation on a piece of, of physical property, you use a subpoena, a grand jury subpoena. Uh, you don't strike an immunity agreement with the computer, you go get the computer. Her lawyer, Beth Wilkinson, who by the way represents both Heather Samuelson and Cheryl Mills, uh, she's on record as saying the Department of Justice assured me my clients did nothing wrong. Uh, <laughs> including, in well, people who've done nothing wrong typically don't ask for immunity. So my question would be immunity from what? What was it that you were worried about the FBI finding on those computers? And Brett, I'll tell you what I think it is. She had classified information on those computers. So you offer immunity to Cheryl Mills, who has classified information on her, her, her computer. How can you possibly then prosecute Hillary Clinton for having classified information on her computer? Uh, <laughs> included, in you couldn't do it. So, so are you if saying, once Congressman, that there was no intention at the beginning to prosecute Hillary Clinton, no matter what happened? Uh, well, I, I, I don't want to malign the FBI, but I can tell you this, um, I have been underwhelmed by an agency that I once had tremendous respect for, and it's the Department of Justice who gives out immu uh, immunity agreements, not the FBI. The FBI doesn't immunize anyone, but the Department of Justice, the same department that is headed by someone who met on a tarmac for half an hour to discuss golf and grandkids with a potential witness with a potential witness to say nothing about being the spouse of a target, a potential witness in, in an investigation. She recuses herself. Someone in the Department of Justice had to decide to pass out these immunity agreements. And, and I, I see the get out of free jail, uh, get out of jail free cards, Brett. What I don't see is the jail. Usually you strike immunity agreements to, to further a prosecution. There is no prosecution. It's just five get out of jail free cards. Uh, <laughs> including, 